What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy Mike. What's going on, Chris? Not much. Mikey, we're doing another Game of Thrones video. It's about yes, to start. Uh, and you and I, once again, we're talking about what we thought about certain things. And that one certain thing happens to be John's parentage. Specifically, how will John find out about his parentage? That's right. That's right. We've been, this is something that, uh, that me and you have been talking about. We wanted to get a lot of Game of Thrones content out to you, especially since the show was coming back this Sunday, which is about six days uh, from now. So we decided to do a reunions uh, video, uh, possible reunions in the in this season. So check that out. So let's get into the parentage video. I was doing a lot of research, um, snooping around a bit. Um, so we wanted to break it break down into the into the possibilities of how John would, would gain the information um, and hear firsthand. So I have a couple obvious ones. I think the number one obvious uh, way he will find out is through Bran. Um, will he find it out in season seven? I'm not sure season eight, but we obviously know of Bran's visions of Ned Stark and um, his, you know, and and his aunt Lyanna and giving at birth the Tower to, of Joy. to John at the Tower of Joy. Exactly. Right. So that's kind of a given. We know for sure. Out of the few that I have, we know that in you know in all certainty that Bran has that information. It just depends on when he will see John in this season. If or he possibly. sees John, although we do exactly. think he will, though, yeah, exactly. So I have I have Bran as the number one culprit. Okay. Um, number number one, two, your number one pick. Number one pick. Uh, number two. Uh, really is Sam. Uh, we know that Sam is in the Citadel, and from the images that we've seen of Season 7 thus far... He's reading he, a book! He's reading books. He's got books all around him. Gilly is there. They're reading about Gilly the Azor High, and, mm-hmm. and obviously the Citadel is the place for information. It's Westeros's interweb, and everything yes. as far as marriages, and battles, and... Um, battles. And, you know, children's births. Everything is written there. It's all Everything recorded, that's, and that's where it's all recorded. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's all recorded there. Um, there is uh, one little thing. Obviously, um, throughout the story, we know that the Starks believed that Lyanna was kidnapped. Um, we have. We know that there is some other um, ideas floating around that other people may know. Especially Littlefinger kind of hinted at Sansa and the Crips that her information and what she thinks happened to her aunt may not have happened that way. And that Rhaegar and Lyanna were actually very much in love and they somehow legitimized a marriage, um, in the tower of joy over the nine months, um, that right, John yeah. was, was, uh, was, was doing you know, birth. Yes, exactly. Being yeah. Created. But, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So um, Sam could have uh, that that um, information, which I'm sure he'll be super shocked and excited, uh, super excited to give John. So that could be a reason why uh, Sam leaves the Citadel. Good and, point. Uh, Good point. You know, yeah. Plus, plus we spoke about this in the reunion video that John and and, and uh, Sam has had a lot of stuff going on, and and Sam still doesn't know of what happened to John. So that would be uh, really cool to see. Right. Um, my next my next um, idea is uh, possibly Howlin Reed, which we all know was Mira's father. Mira's and dad. Howlin- Yes, and Howlin Reed was with young Ned in the visions that Bran saw. And Howlin Reed pretty much saved Ned's ass by killing Sir Arthur Dane, one of the best fighters, right, the- uh, Targaryen fighters. And we know that Rhaegar purposely left his best fighter there, Sir Arthur Dane, to watch over Lyanna. To protect her. Um, to protect her. Now, my cool little idea is uh, about the crypts um, down below Winterfell. Now, in the books, there it's it's been said. Now I don't I haven't read the books, but I know Chris has has read the books, and that's how we kind of came to this this idea mm-hmm. that maybe there um, will be some information that John will will find uh, in the crypts. Now in the books, John has dreams about going into the crypts, and he kind of has a bad, uh, not necessarily bad um, um, emotion about it, but he he knows that there's something there that he he needs to find, but he's kind of he's being um, drawn there, but he's afraid to go. He's down He's afraid there. to yeah. to find out what he'll find down there. Right. We know. Um, I know that you've seen the the images of the upcoming season. We know John is in the crypts. We also know that Littlefinger was down there with him. Um, what is John doing down there? 
uh, I was doing a little bit of uh, snooping, searching, and I kind of had a couple ideas that that after uh, Ned found Liana and John, that Liana, um, after she passed, Ned obviously took um, Liana's body to the crypts, and that's where she was buried. So was there something else that John, uh, that Ned, I should say, uh, possibly took from the Tower of Joy Besides, ne- uh, besides John, John and Liana. Sister's body, yeah. So one cool thing, um, besides maybe some kind of Targaryen sword, maybe they took um, Sir Arthur Dane's sword. Maybe his sword is is down there. Um, but the cool idea would be uh, Rhaegar's harp. Now, if you guys don't know, Rhaegar used to love to sing. We learned about that in the show as well as the books, mm-hmm. and that he played the harp beautifully, and people would cry when they would listen to, to, to Rhaegar's playing. And we know that Lyanna loved hearing Rhaegar play. Now, before Robert's Rebellion, we know Rhaegar was, was at the Tower of Joy with Lyanna before he left, and I can see that the harp may have been there. You know, maybe he played songs for her, you know, as she was, you know, laying in the bed and she's pregnant, you know, it's something nice, nice for Liana to see. So could that be something that Ned took um, along with John and, and Liana? That right. would be interesting to me. And maybe John would find that in the crypts uh, somewhere hidden, maybe. Because these crypts are the ones that, that, that you t- of Winterfell. Yes. Where we've been down there in the first season, yes. the, even the first, it was the first episode they went down there. Yeah. And he saw... Well, Robert went down there. Remember, that's the first thing he wanted. He went down there, and Ned was with him, and, and they yep. went through. And, and since then, we've seen... Uh, that's where Rickon went to hide with Shaggy Dog. Yep. Uh, you know, So we've been down there a bunch of times. I don't know where else. You know, Obviously, we didn't see everything, but I don't know. They're supposed to be yeah. huge. They're right. supposed to be vast. Like and Catacombs at all. Yeah, these, yeah so... so. <laughs> it's very cool. You know, we only saw really Liana's. It was like um, one little section. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, hopefully we we get to see more of that. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, that, those are just a few ideas. Um, I don't know which one uh, you feel, Chris, is the most um, um, more likely. I com- okay. yeah, most likely, the most yeah. likely one I feel would be Bran, because yeah. I feel he's at this point closest to John, meaning they're all up north still. Yeah. Right. They're making their way. They're all trying to make their way down. At some point, they're going to meet. You know. Um, Brand knows it, the info. Brand you know? knows. I feel, only, like it, I feel like him and Howland Reed really. Yeah. So I feel like. Know. Do you think that that we know yeah. that they're going to get that? What's her name is going to get Brand down to her dad? What? That Sansa? Not Sansa. No. Uh, um, Mira. Mira. Oh yes, that yeah. she's gonna get Grand down to the dad. Do you think her dad, Harlan? You think that's gonna happen? It could be. I don't think so. Um, just by the images that we got, we see Brand in the wheelchair by the weirwood tree. So um, maybe they split off. Um, but I don't necessarily think Brand will see him. Um, I mean, well, either way, because be. I was just thinking, because I was just thinking, if Brand hooked up with him. And he's kind of and and they kind of talk and he says it'll I know. validate you know what I'm saying and then and then together when because if he's in the weirwood think about it. if he's at the weirwood the then that means that he's in Winterfell yeah where John is right now anyway yes so yes. I I still say it's gonna be it's gonna be Bran that's the most likely in my mind. You know, yeah, 85% I mean, I agree, chance. I, I agree with that too. Yeah, I agree with that too. Uh, you know, I guess we'll see. Like I said earlier, I don't know if it'll be this season. Um, maybe somehow word of mouth. Maybe John will. I mean, who knows? You know, you know, it's just one of those things that we've been dying for John to find out for so long. And, well, once uh, we all found out, what about Danny? Oh does she God. know? No, nah, I don't know. Danny wouldn't know. Danny was kind of sheltered because she was like the last How? turn for yeah, Sarah. She was the last... 14 when, when they took her, when they ran. Well, yeah. no, she was younger when they ran. But what I'm saying is well, when her when her story started for us in the TV show, she was supposed to be 14. What yeah. about... Um, uh, I'm trying to think about like when she finds out. Like Who would tell her? do a whole video on who how how she's gonna find out actually i think what's gonna happen is john's gonna find out first and then when he meets her he's gonna tell her i think john i think you they're think gonna so? meet yeah i feel like john is 
they're I just I just think it'll mess up the the fact that I think too many people are so square like viewer wise that would if they knew of the of their relationship and their and their aunt and nephew kind of thing I think that might throw off the marriage if they are potentially going to get married I still so don't I would, think they're not going to get married I don't know. I mean, I think that they would, you know, I mean, Danny's uh, easy to the eyes and I know John. That's not the point. Egret, That's not but... the point. But John, well, she's dead. But the point is <laughs> he, he again, he's not he's not into that. I don't think he's into mm. that right now. He don't care about being king. He doesn't care about all he cares about is saving his people from being devoured by well bringing everybody together not even just his people just people well, his people the are the la- the seven kingdoms those are his people that's where he's like well, he's he's the king of the north not king of the seven kingdoms he don't he don't see that though like i don't right he doesn't i don't see that, yeah though. no he's i agree not, with, i agree with with that I he's agree not that about he, that he never wanted he to be that be he's king. not like rob he's just he just wants to he wants a conglomerate he just of wants people to combi- together yeah he wants to, to get everyone you know to unbelieve and understand like look this is we got winters here man okay yeah. winters here we got we got these blue eyed freaks that we have to worry about now not every right. none of this other petty bullshit so all right um anything else on that i think i think i mean i, I mean we could talk for hours about well that, there's but. so many more i mean and believe me i'm sure there's so many more ideas um of you know maybe you guys can let us know in the comments below what you think these are some kind of ideas that we're just kicking around and, and kind of took our top three or four that we felt would be the most uh likely ways yeah. john would find out yeah um you know you guys let us know let us know uh, obviously in uh third person pod on youtube check us out of course on facebook you can leave your ideas there third person pod as well as instagram it's Game of Thrones week. We're going to be posting some cool stuff on our Instagram page. So check that out and listen to this on iTunes. Uh, we would love to hear from you guys uh, on that way, on that vessel too. Yeah, leave a review. If you, if you listen to us on iTunes, that'd be pretty yeah. cool. The, the, you know, the more reviews, uh, the more we'll get out there. And uh, you, That's can, right. you can help us out by sharing by sharing this these videos and stuff. Yep. Uh, and then uh, lastly, uh, I'm sure you guys remember Retro Squad. It's a, it's a podcast I do. You go to RetroSquad.com. Uh, it's an 80s mashup podcast that I do. It's a little comedy thing. It's pretty fun. And if you guys want to get yourself some comics, some free comics, you get yourself three months of unlimited comics at comicbooks.com. Use promo code yep. third person pod. It's only $3 for the first three months. It's a dollar a month. Why the hell wouldn't you? It's that's awesome. It. So get that's your it, guys. binge on. Get your binge. Guys, Game of Thrones Season 7 is starting very soon. Thank you very much yes, for watching excited. this video. If you uh, haven't checked out our reunions video, go check that out for Game of Thrones Season 7. And uh, just uh, real quick, we'll mention on this video as well, Mike will be heading out to um, Ireland and Croatia to visit some yes. of the locations that were filmed. So the, this, this, the whole rest of it, so by the end of the beginning of August, you're going to get a bunch of videos that he's going to do. He's going to do a little travel vlog and yeah, uh man. you know take video of some of the cool uh stuff he's, exciting he's gonna yes. uh, some of the set locations that they've been on so yep. um yeah so it's gonna be pretty cool Look so that. so we got a, a month of august is gonna be full of game of thrones stuff it's gonna be fun and uh yeah if you're watching the walk fear the walking dead go check that out uh while that's still on we're doing videos on that too and guys thank yes. you so much for all the support and the comments and just being i just want to say i just want to thank you guys for being really cool in the comments um Absolutely. we don't get a lot of a-holes we get everyone that's down there. It's it, true. It, it, we don't. We get, you know, we, we very true. easily could get people that are just real assholes in there, but they're not. You guys are awesome. You guys come because you enjoy this stuff and you enjoy talking about it and you and you come to us and listen to us about talking about yes. this junk. So, you know, we just really appreciate that and we appreciate everyone being really awesome in there. So maybe, we, maybe we can do a cool Game of Thrones uh, giveaway this month. Uh, yeah. Well, do you have some Game of Thrones stuff? We have to find some Game uh, of Thrones I'll get stuff. it. We'll get something. We'll find something. It. All right. So, yeah. Get so, something cool. And just look for that. Yeah. We'll so uh, we do have to do a Game of Thrones. Uh, uh, we do have to do our. What, it'd be for August. We got to do our August giveaway. That's coming up. So, yep. uh, yeah. So look forward to that too, guys. Thank you very much. We'll see you uh, on the next video. So peace out. Peace.